All right, good morning. Today's Friday, August 26th. Good to see you once again. Today's reading will be Ezekiel chapters 28 through 30. Now, I hope that yesterday I didn't discourage you too much. Uh, we still have six more days of Ezekiel, and uh, you know I'm not particularly excited about uh, reading about a little bit more failure uh, with um, Judah and all that. But you know what? We'll keep doing it and uh, learn from it and uh, keep going. Now, as I mentioned in the video yesterday, 28 is somewhat of a continuation of, 20, uh, of 27. Um, now it's talking about the judgment against the prince of Tyre, which in this case happens to be Satan. Now, sometimes throughout Scripture, a, one prophecy can be fulfilled more than one way. Sometimes the reading isn't as simple as it just seems at first. But when you get to Ezekiel 28, uh, either you, either this is Satan or you have to add somebody to the, to the Godhead. You know, it says there, thou hast been in Eden and the garden of God. And then you see all the things that described Satan before the fall. That would be when he was Lucifer. And remember, the word Lucifer is only found in the King James Bible. But look at the words used in chapter 28 to describe Satan. And I think we get the wrong idea. Now, 29 and 30 are prophecies against Egypt. Notice that there's also a 40-year captivity for Egypt. God promises that Egypt will no longer be a major kingdom in the world. We had already seen them go downhill a little bit, but they had recovered. Um, maybe never to the glory of when Israel was there and you know the glory that, that Egypt had. But here, God said, yeah, they're going to be one of the base kingdoms, and we've seen that be the case even until now. And again, I'm not sure how this word got to Pharaoh, uh, but uh, then God says that he broke the arm of Pharaoh and then strengthened uh, the king of Babylon to take over. All right. Hope you have a great Friday. Catch you tomorrow.